Mesa Verde National Park is an incredible place to see cliff dwellings of ancient Puebloan people. I'll show you these amazing structures and changes over time. What the heck is Mesa Verde National Park all about? That's what I was wondering when I was planning for our trip. There must be something important for this to be a national park. The drive up of the mountain was pretty, with a nice view of the valley floor, but nothing remarkable. Then I saw a cliff house for the first time, and my jaw dropped. These are amazing structures. Questions raced through my mind on why and how they built these structures hundreds of years ago. Mesa Verde celebrates Puebloan history dating back 1500 years. While the cliff houses are the highlight, the walk through time from the original pit houses to the abandonment of amazing cliff dwellings is fascinating. Let's go through some highlights. Let's start our walk down history with the pit house in AD 600. This is the pit house. And in the middle there you see where they start fires or have fires. And uh, you have this ante room up here, like a two room house. This is like uh, three rooms. That's part of the village now. So they got multiple of these rooms all shared. And this is a deep pit house. And going to the plaque, the roof of this is roughly where I'm standing at my level. So it's pretty deep. You can easily stand up down there for sure. So basically you have the roof that is uh, pretty much at the surface level. Ventilation. You got the ventilation down, shaft with the smoke. over there that has a little ventilation hole down here. Another deep pit structure. As we go in time, now we are 900 to 1100 AD, the structures get more sophisticated, the pits get deeper, and they have a lot of fancy features like uh, flutes to redirect the heat so that the smoke and uh, everything can be properly ventilated. As you can see here how deep these pits are becoming and they can easily stand up in there with ledges and shelves to put things. Showing signs of progress. There's another pit house which is quite deep as you can see. And every one of them, including this one, has got the, the flute, the uh, air vent that uh, allows air to vent and flow straight up. You see the fire pit down there. Every one of them is the same. And uh, you do see quite a deep uh, pit house here. This is a kiva portion. You can see all these holes that they probably dug in to store things or to protect themselves. This is part of a much larger village that they have historical ruins for. And over there is what used to be a tower. And there is a uh, passageway that you see in that hole right there. That goes between the tower and this room here. We are now into the 1200 to 1380 time. As you can see, they're now building these towers, remarkable towers for the technology and, and the time to have uh, these four-story towers built right into the side of a cliff. Amazing! As we get further in time, now we're into the 1250 AD range, you see a growing amount of sophisticated structures that's built right into the side of the cliff. Why would they do these things? It's amazing. I mean, I know they get shelter and everything, but can you just imagine a little two-year-old running around, you know, the parents trying to stop him from uh, falling off the cliff? Look at this one. You have the house of many windows built right into a crack in the cliff. And then, of course, you have other types of structures, like this one, which is uh, used for a lot of different agricultural purposes. 
there's a nice trail called the Step House Trail that leads you through a, uh, a flatland, down the hill, down the side of a cliff, into a place called the Step House. As you can see, you're walking down these stairs, and there it is. You see the step house, which is again on the side of a cliff. It has uh, pit houses that was built in. You can see the structure recreated here. And uh, it's just a dwelling that's on the side of the cliff. Just amazing how these things happen. This is a sun temple. Amazing things that people build for religious purposes. You have the stone structure that goes all the way around. There are a couple of tours you can take, and some of them may be closed for various reasons, like falling rocks or for refurbishment. But uh, we went on the balcony house tour, which was absolutely amazing. They take you right down to these houses. Instead of looking from afar, you actually right into it, and uh, you are stepping through um, what people would see as a point in time. And uh, it is just amazing to be sitting there thinking that uh, years and years ago, people built this to live here all the time. The ranger tour is absolutely excellent. She explained everything to us and made a whole lot more sense. However, it does take a little effort. As you can see from the ladder here, it does take a little bit of work. And uh, for those of you who are afraid of heights, this can be a little scary, but just look up. Don't look down and you'll be perfectly fine. Mesa Verde is an incredible national park that is focused not so much on natural beauty, but on culture. It focuses on the Puebloan culture and these amazing dwelling structures that they built uh, almost a thousand years ago now. Some of them are quite elaborate and this is just fascinating to see and well, well worth the trip. We are on our way to visit all the national parks in the United States. Follow along by hitting the subscribe button below. Hit the notification bell so you know when a new video is released. Give it a thumbs up if you like this video and please share it with everybody that you know.